Hi, how are you? Uh, today I am filming in a bit of a different location. I'm still actually in the same room, just on the other side, and that is because I'm planning to go through my yarn stash, which this is one of three bins of it, um, to reorganize it a little bit. I am starting to accumulate too much yarn to fit in these three little baskets bins from Target, and I have a Ikea glass display case that in the past I used as an indoor greenhouse, but I don't garden as much anymore, so I figured might as well relocate some of my beautiful yarn to this beautiful cabinet to display it, um, as well as keep it away from my cats. In the past they like to scratch on these um, baskets and I'm always worried about them catching a string or something like that, so I'd rather relocate some skeins there so that these stay empty enough that I know a cat can't grab onto the yarn. Um, and I always forget what I have and I wanna look at my yarn. So I think this is going to be a great improvement on my yarn storage and my knitting life and add a little bit of joy to my office because I'll get to look at my yarn all the time. So the skein's just <laughs> falling out over and over. Um, so today I'm planning to kind of take you along as I do that. The first step is going to be to clean out the cabinet. Still got a dead strawberry plant and old pots and some dirt, so definitely needs a nice clean out. Um, then I'll take you through some of my yarn. Most of it will be, you know, quick time lapses or sped up videos, but I might pause to show you some really beautiful skeins that maybe I want advice on what to do with them or just want to show how pretty they are. Um, and then I'll finally show you, you know, the finished product of what my reorganization looks like. So I hope you'll follow along and enjoy. Let's get to it. All right, another new angle. This feels very weird to be standing up, um, but this is the plant cabinet I was talking about. So it's definitely seen better days. I used to store it outside when I had a balcony and it used to have a lot of great plants in it. I had a little herb garden and strawberries and all of that, but I've since moved and I don't have outdoor space anymore, so it's in my office and it has a lot of sad dead plants in it. So I'm just going to kind of get a trash bag, throw out the things that are dead, move some of the pots down. I'm gonna keep one of the shelves at the bottom still for plants um, and then I'll clean off the surfaces and show it once it's done. That took 10 minutes. I have been delaying that task for months, probably two, three months I've had dead plants. Um, and yeah, it's nice and clean in 10 minutes, half a bag of trash. So will I learn my lesson from this? No, probably not. I will continue to procrastinate easy tasks, but um, it's now ready for some yarn and some sweaters. I have two shelves to play with. So I think first I'm gonna reorganize and kind of take out all of my yarn from down here, and then we will be back to this shelf to figure out what to put where. Okay, it's a very awkward angle for me, but I figure you're mostly here for the yarn anyways, so what I'm looking like doesn't really matter. Um, I have three of these Target bins. Uh, I can really only show one at this angle, but there's three right here and I'll just move them over one by one to, you know, show you while I'm going through it. So, let's get started. All right, I have taken all of the yarn out. So I've got a big pile of yarn in front of me. Oh, I forgot. I got two new yarns recently, so we'll add them to the pile. And there's a cat in my yarn tote. Hi, bud. Um, 
Okay, so I'm thinking the rough plan here is that I will, everything that's in a bag like this is in a bag because it's a planned project. So I think I will put these back in this bin since they will become projects soon. And then I think single skeins will go in there. And then of course the top shelf will be sweaters or other hand makes. So yeah, I'm gonna isolate my single skeins that don't have a plan for in there and then choose some sweaters to go up there. Um, project bags, maybe then like sweater quantity or higher quantity yarns and then random yarns will go where the cat is. So, okay, I'll show you that organization in a second. Okay, I've kind of changed my plan a little bit. I've got a rough system going, we'll see. Still got some stuff to sort. So in this bin, I have all of the yarns that are either left over from a past project. So, you know, some mohair or, I actually, I don't want this in here. Um, let's see, there's other stuff in here. This nice, um, this is a cashmere wool blend that I actually used to make my um, tank, top, no, tank top number seven. Wait, 7 p.m. tank, sorry. Um, oh my gosh, there's a cat doing everything he can to be in the way. So I'm kind of putting this bin as leftovers that I want to prioritize getting out of my stash as well as yarn that I really would like to use. So I have this yarn, which it's just from Michael's, um, but it's been in my stash for a while. I think it's really pretty. It's it's gotta be fully acrylic. Yep, 100% acrylic, but I still think this could be a nice project, maybe a gift knit. Don't know quite what I, I think it's, um, I think it's like a worsted. So see, maybe, yeah, that's the rough scheme right now is to put things that I hope will be used soon. And here I'm actually, I had this outline for a project, but I've changed my mind. So I'll just be putting the cake in here, another project bag, sorting through that. Um, let me show you. And then in this bag right now I have, or in this bin, I have upcoming projects. So this is all of the yarn for my cumulus blouse, as well as a pair of needles. Um, this is yarn, it's called Yarnalia Joy. It's in this rose gold color. I plan on using this for my Mauricia cardigan. Hopefully if I hold it double, it'll meet gauge. It's a lace weight. I also used this and this mohair to make my sweater number 15 by My Favorite Things. So that's a nice flashback. Um, and I bought so much, I have enough for another project, even if I hold it double the whole way. And then this is going to be some movie theater socks. So that'll be nice. So yeah, all of my super close to happening projects will be put in a bag and in here. Although there's a lot of extra room in here. So I might also consider putting some of these. This is when I finish a sock project and I have not enough for another sock, I just put all that yarn in here as my little scraps to consider, you know, using for future socks. You know, some of this could be heels or toes or um, yarn cozies. I've made a couple of those from um, Nitty Natty. So yeah, a nice little scraps or a scrappy project bag is helpful. Um, yeah, I'll put this in here. This is a really nice yarn. I just have not found a use for it. So maybe if I put it in my upcoming projects, I will think of something. Um, and then yeah, I might, I'm going to make another bandana out of this soon. So I'll move it over. But yeah, otherwise random high on the list to use yarn projects. 
And then this is kind of my lower on the list or sometimes it's my test yarn. I, this is all yarn from when I first started knitting. So it's all 100% acrylic. This one's still nice. I don't know, I don't like the colors. I think it's the same. Yeah, I think these are basically the same construction. They're different brands, but same concept of yarn, but I don't like the colors as much on this one. So I'd rather use this one first. I also have some Lion Brand Hometown, which is super chunky. Might still do something with it. It's good to practice on. And then a couple others, acrylic yarns that are good to practice on. I think I'll also put this in here, another one of these, um, as well as I have this Green Drops Wish. I, I'm not an olive green person. I don't know why I bought this. I don't know, something about it. So it might be good for gift knitting and that's kind of what I'd use this for is, you know, all of these are machine washable or easier to take care of and cost less. So they're my gift or practice knitting items. Um, I also am going to put the We Are Knitters. I have a bunch of leftover We Are Knitters, the wool or the petite wool. Um, yeah, I used a lot of this for early projects. Also, I'm so sorry if you can hear my cat playing with his ball toy. I figure it's better than him attacking the yarn, so not stopping him. <laughs> um, let me grab. Yeah, so I have tons of this petite wool left over from past projects um, and I don't really like it anymore. So it's just, it's good to practice. It's nice and bulky um, and it could be good to make someone a hat or something, but I personally don't want <laughs> any more garments made with it. So it's going in this stash. I also have this bamboo, which I'll put in here. This is my nice, nice, no plans yet. I also have, I think I highlighted in my little time lapse. I have like, I don't know, I think eight balls of this happy chain yarn in this pink color. Um, yeah, I think it's probably an Aran or worsted. I think this might turn into a November jacket um, by Petite Knit. I'm not sure yet. So just kind of have it, all of these balls living in this bag. Um, and I guess it'll go in projects queue. Um, but I also have these three of the same yarn and these colors that I don't love. So, I don't know, maybe a good gift knit. We'll see. So yeah, there's that. I also have a bunch of this um, Drops Kid Silk Mohair. It's a beautiful color, but I think that I'm allergic to it. So. I'm gonna put it in here for now, <laughs> um, but it might end up just leaving my stash or definitely has to be made into gifts because I don't think I can work with it. So I've one, one skein of drops air. Also we'll go in there. And then I'm getting close. I also have all of this. This was my favorite yarn for a while. Um, when I first started, it's the Red Heart Huga yarn. It's super soft. It's got a little bit of fluff on it. Um, so I made some really nice stuff out of this actually. Um, it's great for hats and it's really cozy. I was thinking I might get rid of a couple of the colors that I don't love. You know, this kind of powder blue isn't really my color. I bought it to make a hat for someone else. Um, same with the black and then this kind of icy gray. I'm just I'm not ice, like I don't like icy colors, but I, <laughs> this is not easy with a cat around. Um, but I'm not sure about, oh, he's gonna bite me. I'm not sure about getting rid of it because it could be good for gift knitting. So I'm hesitant, um, but I also don't wanna keep it. <laughs> I don't have unlimited room. So I'll keep it for now, but I might quarantine it, put it, you know, in a bag outside of my nicely confined stash. So I have to look at it and think about it. Um, I love this pink color. I think I'm definitely gonna keep this pink for probably some gift knitting or quick chunky accessories. 
Um, I also love this heathered color. I have a lot of it. It's messy. And then I have a little ball of green and a little ball of blue and two blues. So some of this will be remaining in my stash. Some needs to get out. This purple is not enough to keep. Same with some of this. Oh my gosh, I need to sort this out. Uh, so yeah, some of this getting out of here. Let's see what else do I have left. More drops wish. I have it in this mint color and in this black. And I think I have three, yeah, three of each. I'd actually gotten ready to start this. So we are knitters pattern where it's a checkered vest. It came out right after Wednesday. Um, the TV show came out, so it looks like hers. You're supposed to do it in black and white and their petite wool. I figured I could sub Drops Wish for it and I didn't check the yardage. I just checked how many balls you needed and Wear Knitter's Petite Wool comes in 100 gram skeins, whereas this is 50 grams. So I have half of what I need for this vest and I don't think I want an oversized checkered vest anymore. Um, so don't know what to do with it. Probably good for gift knitting, nice accessories. So I'll keep it around. Um, maybe I'll, I'll put it in here. This, <laughs> this like less desirable yarn bin is getting very full, mostly because that's where all of my chunky wool is living. So put it in there. Okay. And then I'll show this in more depth in a second, but I've got a very nice, juicy pile of skeins that will be displayed. They're all so beautiful. So yeah, these are all of my wound up, or I guess unwound hanks of yarn that can nicely pile in my cabinet. So you'll see those in more detail in a minute. But let's keep going. That looks a lot better. Um, so now I have extra project bags in here. This is the bin with all of my would like to use up next yarn. Some of it, I would have liked to put more of it in that bin, which is kind of the gift knitting or practice knitting yarn bin, but it didn't all fit. So, you know, I don't know when I'll use this, but it would be nice to get it out of my stash. Um, this is my upcoming projects. And then I actually have a little portfolio stored next to it, as well as my scale is there. And then sock blockers are tucked away there. So this is the main part of my stash down here. And now let's get to the fun little pretty part of the stash. So this is all the yarn I'm going to put in this bottom shelf. Um, I'll come back with some garments in a minute for this shelf. I wonder if I can fit another shelf in here as well, but let's start. I'm just gonna lay it out first by size and stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm dro dropping yarn everywhere. Ah. Okay, here's the yarn. I'll organize it, zhuzh it up, but yeah, let's start going. I actually, I'm gonna pull out these two. I'll be making a pair of colorwork socks with them very soon. So they're actually gonna go in the projects portion. Uh, maybe? Mm, no. I don't know, second thoughts about coloring, but we'll, we'll rip that out. I'll actually leave everything in here. So yeah, let's see. I only have one skein of DK. Everything else in here is fingering weight or Surrey. So I think put the DK corner, try to grab the Surrey for the other side. So it's Kami Surrey. So my Explorer Knits, Denali National, or Joshua Tree National Park Surrey. I dropped the skin out. And then this is a silk base, so I'll put it near the DK. This is a 100% non-superwash. I'll put it near the silk. The rest are superwash, mostly sock. Um, I 
gosh. I feel like I could buy so much more yarn with all this room. Um, I should not though. This is not the point. I'm not just trying to give myself more room for yarn. But, uh, uh, okay, let me scoot back. It does give a lot of room for growth, which is good and bad. I think also you can't see everything on the edges, so I'm gonna scoot it in a little bit. Cute little pile. Lots of room to grow into this pile, um, or, you know, clear back out. I might move the shelf up a little bit more. So right now there's, you know, this much room for yarn and I hopefully will never need that much. Um, and I'll see what the sweaters look like as well. So let me grab those. Okay, I've grabbed all of my garments. I decided that I'm gonna just start with my sweaters and we'll see if all of these even make the cut to go in here. Um, but I've left out socks and shawls and hats. So I'm gonna set these down first. And let's grab the heaviest ones decide if they should even go in here. I don't know if this one, I want living in there. This is the Red Heart yarn I was just showing in a nice little patchwork sweater. So heavy, you know what? I think this one's gonna live somewhere hidden in my closet because I don't see myself grabbing for it. And as far as garments I wanna display, I'm not sure it makes the cut, so. Say, mm, maybe I'll put this one in. This was the second sweater I ever made. And you know what? Would not make it again, but I've grown a lot. And colors are cute. It's got a cute little wave. Again, my second thing I ever made was in Tarja. I don't know what I, who I thought it was. So yeah, let's, ooh, I'm definitely gonna wanna move this. Hang on, let me move it. That's a lot better. Okay, let's continue. Next thing that I will put in here is my, I forget the name of this pattern, Banana Cardigan, I think, by We Are Knitters. It's pretty, it uses their rainbow wool. This is a really nice thing to throw on. Um, I know I was just bashing the petite wool, but it's cozy. <laughs> so put this in here. I will judge it up in a minute, but let's stack it. This is a fully, this is the Touch Me Mohair by Wool and the Gang. Cardigan, buttons, it's huge, it's comfy, it is really cozy. So, going in here as well. Okay. Sweater number 15, you know her, you love her. Cat is biting my toes. Oh my gosh. Um, going in here would love it to be prominently displayed. So put it zhuzh it so you can really see the cables. Oh my gosh. Sweaters are so like volumi vol voluminous. Yes, sweaters are so voluminous. Look at how much I can push that down, but I've gotta be cognizant of room. Next thing, this is my April cardigan. Put her in as well. Let me add some butt. I'll button her up so she stays closed um, and folds nicely. Oh, this would, this cardigan would actually be really cute with this dress. Ooh, this is very cute. Very librarian core. Okay, future note. That was a button. Here. You know what? Yep. This is my cumulus. Oh my god. Cat is attacking my feet. Ah. Ew. Stop it. Can you see him biting me? Where we have a piranha more days than a cat. Okay, last few pieces to go in here. This is my, oh my gosh, what's this called? Wrap Me Up cardigan, I think, by Plumum. I have it awkwardly tied. This is with the Camarose Midnight Soul. 
and I actually kind of want to make a second stack. I'm going to judge this, but I'm trying to go through everything first. And then Vico Tank in pure silk. This pattern's still forthcoming. Um, finished it a month or two ago as a test knit, but I think designer is just um, editing Name's Contour Knit on Instagram. So look out for that soon. I will post when it does become available. And then my 7 p.m. tank in that yarn I showed a little bit earlier. Yeah, those are my main garments that are going in here. Um, like I said, I do have a bunch of socks and other things, but I want to keep those in other more functional areas. Um, since, you know, I think when I wear one of my hand knits, it's an event and I can't hang them up anyways, so they can't incorporate into my closet, which is why this is a practical solution for these because they before were in a drawer under my bed and I'd rather have them here where I can see them and you know if I'm not wearing them as much as I would like I can at least display them because the best solution to make me wear them more would be to put them in my closet but I hang everything can't hang these so this is our next best solution but you know my socks can go in my sock drawer accessories I have a bin for hats and scarves and so all of those live in there so this is just sweater world and I guess top world as well garment world so yeah okay I will judge this up a little bit and be right back with kind of a final overview okay I just finished organizing or judging up this cabinet so I have all my garments up here that I want. I also added for ease of use, this is a, it's called Flat Earth Sun Celebration. It's basically a garment refresh spray. Uh, you're supposed to steam iron bef or steam your garment after you spray this on, but I found you don't need to do that. So keep that there for ease of use and another little cute element. Oh, they look so cute. And then this is the shelf below. Oh, hello, there I am in the back um, with all of my beautiful single skeins. I also added, this is kind of my scrap jar of yarns. So it's cute to look back on all of my previous projects through that. And it adds a little element in here and keeps the yarn from going all the way over this edge since you can't really see the yarn past here because of this. So. Yeah, cute. I also added, um, I have this little jelly basket that I forgot to mention with a bunch of mini skeins in it. So have some mini skeins in here as well. So yeah, those are the yarn elements of this cabinet. Close this off. And then down here I have my not as exciting yarn, upcoming projects, yarn I would like to use next, and then an area for all my project bags. I also, I used to embroider a lot, so I have a lot of embroidery um stuff in here and then some sewing supplies and then in my kind of messy office this is the last area all of my gauge swatches my scissors we didn't touch this area today but thought it would still be fun to show i have i love collecting little scissors so have as many some extra tape measures this cute little sheep <laughs> um and then my mini yarn used to be right here but i've moved that and this is one of my other projects i'm working on and then these are a bunch of mini skeins for, I bought the, um, oh my gosh, Summer count, summer at the Shack Yarn Advent by the Scranton Stitcher. So that's starting this Saturday. And so I have them, my first week of yarn put in this little vase. So excited to open that. Oh, and then finally some extra notions and this desk has drawers. So that's where the rest of my needles are, so. Yeah, pretty proud of what I was able to accomplish rather quickly. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I'm so excited to have done this. It took maybe an hour, so I'm glad I finally did this. I've been thinking about it for a while and I'm glad you got to watch along. I hope it was enjoyable and I'm so excited to, you know, get to look at my beautiful sweaters and my beautiful yarn more often um, and get rid of all those dead plants and make the rest of my stash easier to use. So yeah, thank you.